On behalf of the entire Padres family, I'd like to thank you for joining us to celebrate Jerry's life and to thank again Maggie, Diane, and Chelsea for sharing him with us. I hope everyone here today leaves knowing that our memories of Jerry are forever imprinted on the hearts and the minds of the entire Padres organization. Thank you. I don't know, maybe I, I didn't appreciate our time together because nobody listened to me. <laughs> Good morning. Um, when I first uh, became aware of Jerry Coleman, I was a teenager living in Brooklyn. And I, I knew he played with guys like Rizzuto, Berra, Mantle, DiMaggio. He was an all-star during one of the greatest dynasties of all times. And I was saying, what a life. And I wasn't even a Yankees fan. Also a man who brought the magic of baseball to the people of San Diego for just about the entire existence of the Padres. What's interesting is from the broadcast booth and you know, where, where we're used to seeing him and hearing him, it's right there. He's just located a little bit higher right now. The flyover of F-18s representing his squadron in Korea and World War II and the missing man formation honoring the, foil, the fallen pilot, Lieutenant Colonel Gerald Francis Coleman. No, he would not talk about it. I would sit across from him on that first row and coach in the Padre Charter for 30 years and ask him questions and just, my mouth was just hanging down. It was unbelievable. But he was like Captain Winters. Remember, did you watch Band of Brothers on HBO where they had in the final episode the actual Captain Winters talking about the fact that he had never spoken about his war exploits with the Band of Brothers to his own grandson? Because that's what the generation that Jerry came from, as Tom Brokaw called it, the greatest generation, that's what they did. They didn't tell war stories. They didn't even tell their own grandson. So his grandson sees him, Captain Winters, being played on HBO and comes to him and says, Grandpa, were you a hero in the war? And he said, no, no, Billy. But I served with a bunch of them. That was Jerry. And the only disagreement we ever had, ever, is him saying, don't be talking about me like I'm a, like I'm a big hero because I'm not. Only the ones that did not come back are heroes. And I would tell him, Jerry, I, I disagree. I disagree that if you hadn't done your job with that incredible courage, others would have lost their lives and not come home. And because of you and men like you, that's why you are a hero. He didn't believe me then, but believe me now. It's the truth. <laughs>